Hi guys, Rich Bassini from RJBassini.com coming to you today with the reseller news. And boy, we got a lot of news going on here. I mean, get I get. In case you're wondering uh, where I get all my information from, I get a lot of eBay alerts from Google and other sources that come in and keep me posted uh, as far as what's going on in the eBay world and the reselling world just in general. So, without further ado, let's get started here. <clears throat> this is what we got over here so far. Uh, let me close this ad. Fake eBay invoices plague consumers. A Wombat, a Wombat security technology server reports that 85% of the organizations worldwide have been targeted by phishing attacks. Among those, one among those is eBay. And it goes on talking about how you know they are targeted by scammers. Below, to give you an example of the uh, new phishing that makes the rounds in the inboxes across the nation. And it goes on over here and it shows you new eBay phishing scam. So, folks, I'm not going to read like I always say if you follow me on the eBay uh, resellers news. I'm not going to go into great detail as far as getting into reading this verbatim because we will be here all day. <clears throat> as you can look on the top of my screen, I have a whole bunch of windows up there. And uh, I'm just going to go over it pretty brief with you and then you could decide for yourself. This one came off of WHNT19 News. Uh, the websites up there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to post all of them, but you could probably, you know, find out yourself. If you want to read up on it, uh, you know, this will give you a little insight as far as what's going on. Going over to the next one here. Um, here we have up here Hurricane Irma merchandise. And I want to open my closet. Now, this is this is what I hate though. Sometimes every time I try to uh, get these alerts, they keep coming up like this, and it drives me crazy. All right, so we'll get that out of the another alert coming up. Um, this one over here, if I can get it out of here, uh, it says over here, Hurricane Irma merchandise uh, floods eBay. <clears throat> and then when you go on, you read over here, it tells you the people who wrote it. It says, well, Floridians, Floridians have been uh, cleaning up the damage Hurricane Irma left behind hopeful entrepreneurs in Indianapolis, Anaheim, California, East Meadow, New York. Hey, how did that get in there? <laughs> oh, it's telling you all the places over here. That's funny. Um, okay. Uh, and then it's telling you a little about what's going on over here. Uh, at least two Floridians are selling uh, Irma rainwater. Okay, so you might as well try to capitalize on that there. Back in the day, I remember I have a book. I still have it. Um, I want to share it with you guys. It's the, the, I don't know if it's top 10 or whatever. The things, the weirdest things that sold on eBay. Maybe um, after I do the reselling news, I'll try to get that up and run. I'll see if I can get that because I still have a lot more listings to do. But I figured I haven't done a reselling news in a long time. So I figured, let me you know, let me get out there and see what's going on with it. But, um, yeah, you can read this story too. Uh, this came out of the uh, TBO, okay, local news. Like I said, I get all these I get all these alerts. And I, do, you know, here, Tampa Bay Times, that's what it is. Um, I get all these alerts and stuff like that when it pertains to eBay, Amazon. And uh, that's what the reseller news is all about, to share you these things. I can't read verbatim page by page, but uh, I figured, you know, you guys could do that there. I just want to share the information with you, you know. So moving ahead, we got over here. You could buy, and uh, you can already buy a dual SIM Note 8 on eBay for $8.99. That must be the Samsung Galaxy uh, 8. I guess that's their new uh, phone they're coming out with. Uh, it's being sold on eBay right now for $8.99. Uh, this, this particular seller has, I think, uh, 568 people watching it. Um, if you ever do like a, a search on there, I can't think of the company that there is. It's like a company, it's a company that uh, gets all the top rated items being sold. And I can't remember offhand if I remember, I'll let you guys know. And when you click it on, it tells you all the items, the top ones that are being, uh, you know, that have a high market rate, like people looking at them. And it's always the iPhone, uh, it, it's, it's got a list of the yin yang. I mean, how many people are buying? I mean, and, and the watches are phenomenal. So apparently, iPhone does have a big uh, resale value, you know. Um, I bought mine and I didn't get mine too cheap. I thought I was going to get it, to be honest. It's an iPhone 5S. And um, <clears throat> back, you know, when I bought mine, I think it was like 150 or something like that. I thought I was going to get it made for 50 bucks. No chance. And to be honest with you, to buy an iPhone SE, uh, iPhone, yeah, the SE, that's even up too if you want to get them with the higher megabytes. You could spend, I think it's up to, almost as up to three to $400, if I'm not mistaken. But um, this is for, yeah, this is for the uh, Samsung and uh, the Galaxy Note 8. And that's what they're selling for on eBay, $899. Now we move along over here. 
Um, let's see what this one is. Is the same one? Uh, I might have clicked it twice. Let's see here. Uh, it looks like I clicked it twice. Sorry, guys. Let's get out of here. Let's close that window out. I'm using Firefox, so my uh, screen share here is a little crazy. Um, here to have over here, big news for PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch owners, whatever. Um, I don't know, I put this up there just to share it with you guys. Uh, for those who own these systems, whatever. Um, you know, I don't, I used to have a PS2, and uh, I really liked it a lot. It was pretty nice, you know, pretty nice gaming device and stuff like that. But, you know, after a while, as you get older, you get kind of like, it gets played out, you know. And I'm not going to keep buying games. I don't have time to play games, to be honest with you. Doing this business here. Um, I'm lucky I got time to do the reseller news, but you know what? You gotta fit. You gotta make a little time slot, you know, in between your working and your private life too. So uh, I I don't mind doing this right now. The reseller news. I enjoy doing it. I love what I do. And uh, to me, if I could throw a little insight out there to people, get a little news, or keep you abreast of certain things, you know, hey, why not? You know, you check it out. But this one here, um, not so much for this year. You know, I mean, this is good too. But when I'm scrolling down over here. It says over here, eBay UK has announced a surprise new venture that can make buying and selling video games a whole lot easier for PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch uh, gamers in the UK. And then it goes on to tell you the online auction house plans to launch its very own dedicated video game store branded the Entertainment Shop. Uh, eBay says this will be curated on the site destination for new and pre-owned games. So this sounds pretty interesting if you're a guy that sells, you're a person that sells games and game consoles. I'm selling a PS2 and I also have a, a, a Nintendo Wii game that's up for uh, on eBay too as well. Um, so, and I do have a couple games like that. I don't know if I still have a lot, but I know I had a couple games, PS2 games and PS1 I believe, and I do have a Wii game on there. Uh, maybe this might be something I'm gonna look into. So, you know, might as well share it with you guys, why not? Moving right along, Oh yeah, one appearance of Farmer Bros. Mind. Look at this eBay listing. This guy here, I heard about how I came about this one here is I don't really follow too much up on the news with this here. I was listening to eBay radio and uh, this past week, I think it was on Thursdays, this past Thursdays, um, eBay radio, and they were talking about this guy. <laughs> and uh, if this is what I'm thinking of, I think this is the guy, let me just scroll down here. Um, this is one of the strangest eBay auctions of the of the year will end tonight the sellers in jail in the jail cell um i think this is the guy if i'm not mistaken he wanted a, a lock of uh hillary's hair if i'm not mistaken um rose to infamy Wait, I'm, I'm just trying i'm just trying i'm trying to look at this here um anyway i think this is the guy i'm not if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong but i don't want to get too much into it until i get all the definite information here this guy here supposedly was selling something here i'm going to switch over to this page here uh, he claims he's got a Wu-Tang Clan once upon a time in Shaolin rare CD. Now, this is the this is what's on there. This is not me. This is not you know photoshopped. <laughs> I don't do stupid things like that, folks. Supposedly, as you can see here, it's got the sold sign on eBay. It ended September fifteenth, which was Friday. Okay at 10.08 p.m. Apparently the winning bid was $1,025,000 at 343 bids on it. You know, this reminds me of a story. Uh, I just want to really share this really quick with you because um, sometimes you don't know if these are fake things or scams, you know, not scams, but like fake things here. Uh, I was told that uh, in one of the resale, you know, I go to a thrift thing, I was talking to another reseller and I mentioned, I don't know if you guys remember it, um, it was the story with the um, the Beauty and the Beast, I'm sorry folks, I'm just cutting that thing off here. Uh, the Beauty and the Beast, supposedly it was a VHS wrapped up, it was brand new from 1992, and they sold for $30,000. Now, a listen to eBay radio, I don't know, the the, the acquaintance I, you know, that I, I talked to, the, the person I talked to at the thrift stories and other resellers said that was a fake. That was, a, that's all phony, like, you know, it's not, it wasn't true. And I said, how the heck can be possible? Because I said on eBay radio, they posted it on there and they showed you, they gave a, a number, you know, the uh, item number and it showed, sold for $30,000. As a matter of fact, there were two that sold for 30, or, or is it two or three of them? Uh, so the person was telling me, no, that's not true. If you read up on it, uh, that's, you'll see it's all, it's all like a lies. It's not true and stuff like that. 
So I don't know, I didn't really research it. And the reason why I didn't research it was, you know, I listen to eBay radio and Griff who works for eBay, uh, I don't think he's gonna come on there and say, hey guys, you know, by the way, that that uh, that Beauty and the Beast that's sold that from, you know, from 1992 VHS sold for $30,000 was a fake. You know, I, you know, I don't know. You know, this is what I was, this is what the person told me. I didn't bother researching it. Um, so if you guys, you know, are out there and you, you look it up or if I find out on my own, uh, I'll share it with you guys. But, you know, that's what I was told that, that Beauty and the Beast taste, uh, tape VHS sold for $30,000. How true it is, I don't know. You know, that's like that new thing there that uh, uh, Hatchables. Uh, you remember the Hatchables that came out? I think it was like last year sometime. eBay did a segment on that. Some people were selling for $25,000. Some people were selling for $15,000, $1,500. They were all going, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this. I will say this. Uh, news travels fast. When I went to eBay, which is my little store right down the block from me, uh, I went there looking for those Hatchables and the shelves were cleaned out. And when I asked the seller, I mean the seller, when I asked the uh, sales associate, I said, when are you gonna be getting more of They go, we don't know. There's a backlog of them. So apparently, it could be two things. The news got out. People are hearing all these big numbers thrown out there. $25,000, $15,000, $25,000, $1,500, 1500 whatever. And people are buying with shelves. Now, true, I don't think every single person was buying those there with the intentions to sell on eBay. But then again, I don't know. Okay, this is what I was, this is what I was, you know, I heard on eBay radio. And that's the only reason why I'm sharing that information because these are things I heard on eBay radio. I didn't even know about Hatchables until I listened to eBay radio. Oh, they're the ones that brought it up and I'm just, you know, uh, relegating, you know, talking about it right now, relating to what they were saying. So anyway, this here says the winning bid was for $1,025,000. I don't know, again, how true it is. You can see there for yourself. It says sold. I don't know. I don't even know what this is, the rare CD or what. I don't know. But... I have another button here where if you click it to the original listing, this is the original listing. This is how it looked before it came off. Uh, yeah, this is the original listing right here. And here's the guy holding, I guess that's him. And you know, he's got the pictures here. I don't know what it is from the Shaolin, it, you know, it was the Shaolin Dynasty time, what, I don't know. But so well, I don't know, I didn't even heard of a thing like this here. That would, And first off, you know what it looks like over here really quick? It looks like it's saying Harry Potter. <laughs> No, I'm like, but no, it does. It kind of looks like that really when you look at it really quick. Um, I don't know anything about this stuff, okay? Now, if it's true or not, I don't know, okay? I heard just because it's sold, it doesn't actually mean, quote, unquote, it's sold, and so it's actually, you know, paid for stuff. So just because it says, and I, I'll give you an example. I sold an item last night, and uh, I messaged, I sent an invoice to the buyer. I didn't get, I didn't get any, uh, you know, I didn't get payment for it. So just because it says sold, it doesn't necessarily mean it's sold. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, that's yet to be seen. But anyway, that's the story with that. Okay, moving right along. Here's the next one that's uh, nice here. Um, then we're gonna stop this here. This one here is talking about the iPhone. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna do the clipping just yet if I could stop it. Oh boy, I'm sorry folks, I'm trying to stop it here. Um, it says, oh yeah, boy, my, this thing is so unresponsive. I'm trying to click this off here. <laughs> It's, it must be one of those auto plays. It says over here, people are paying up to $2,000 for an iPhone 8 on eBay. Could you imagine $2,000 for a phone? I mean, come on. All right, I understand they're talking over here, pre-recorders for the iPhone, iPhone. My daughters want to get them, matter of fact. And I think my daughter was saying, you have to order in October to get it for November or something like that. You have to place your orders early. Um, I didn't click on the thing here. I think if we click this on, I don't know if this will show you the listing. Let's see what happens here, folks. We'll experiment together here. Uh, all I know is I like Apple. I had a knife. I have had a droid for a while. And um, oh, this is going to take you to another one. We don't want to go to another one here. I wanted to see if it was going to show you the actual thing here. Although it is eBay related, but um, I wanted to see if they had the, land, the uh, actual you know, uh, listing here. Okay. I guess you could type that up there. Anyway, um, let's go back here. Yeah, I wouldn't pay two thousand dollars for it. Uh, I, I know, it, from over, for example, here it says one um, with one buyer paying up to nineteen eighty nine for an unlocked two hundred fifty six gigabyte, which is a lot. Gets a lot of gigabytes, to be honest with you. And today, the way people are using these video phones, these video phones, these iPhones to do videos, photographs, and stuff like that, it's phenomenal. I mean, this camera what here. Are they smart water, so oh, smart? here we go. 
It this is what I hate, folks. I'm sorry the about that there. <laughs> um, this always happens every time I try to do something here. Unbelievable. Couldn't help it out here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's what happens. That here you go. I found a commercial. Taste. It's over here. Uh, so okay. Let's see if we can get this here to stop. Sorry about that, guys. Unprepared with that. <laughs> And apparently it's on this one here, so I don't want this to keep going on. So let's uh, get this out of here. Let's close that. And let's go back to the iPhone. Um, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, yeah. So getting back to that, that's distractions for you. Um, yeah, the, that, like I said, with the phones I have today, you know, again, with the 256 gigabytes, uh, that's kind of a bit, yeah, it's a lot of uh, storage to use. Uh, and that's what I was talking about, too with the way people are taking uh, videos and photos that you don't even really need a camera anymore, a digital camera, because these things really take nice pictures. What I was going to say, with this phone here, I had this Sony phone, and it was an Android, and I traded up to this because, for, to be honest with you, and I still had the phone on there, I bought it brand new. Um, the lens, now you would think the Sony, now I have Sony cameras, I have a Sony digital camera, which I take all my pictures for my eBay listings and my family photos, and I also have a digital handheld camera, it's an 8mm, a uh, Sony, that uh, does a lot of external, you know, videos if I'm out in the site, whatever, if I'm doing shooting on location, I'll take that with me. The still camera does not, it does videos, but nothing like the, the digital video camera. Anyway, but this one here, this little iPhone 5S, believe it or not, has a better camera than the Sony uh, cell phone. Now, I didn't buy top of the line cell phone uh, Sony's they have ones good. I mean they have phones up to almost that almost a thousand dollars themselves So it's seven hundred eight hundred dollars. I was not about to spend that kind of money But this little guy takes nice pictures uh, nice videos and stuff like that so I have no complaints I mean I think the cameras in the iPhones to me in my personal opinion are better than that particular one I had that Sony one, but anyway uh, Tell me what you guys think are you gonna pay the two thousand dollars for an iPhone? Or are you just gonna wait for it to come out? I don't know what the average price is gonna range from uh, let's see what it says over here. Uh, the excitement is online. Auction World is for the factory unlocked versions for the iPhone of the iPhone, while it can still be bought at the retail prices, which range from $699 to $949. Okay, so you rough it out. It's between $700 and $1,000 at the Apple Store. Um, you know, inventory shortages have pushed back delivery dates as far as October 6th. So. Um, then it says over here there's no way for carry specific models as of 9 a.m. Friday morning. So anyway, you can read up on it. You know, you can go a little, uh, you know, do your own little research on it. I wanted to share that with you guys. Let's see what's going next over here. Oh, we got an advertisement here. We don't need that. Um, let's see what this is all about here. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I have a lot of windows opened up here, and I don't know what this is all about. But you know what? We're going to take that off the list. Okay. Why Stop Hub is crucial to eBay stagnating marketplaces? Again, it says over here eBay has reported slowdown in its total transition uh, transaction re, uh, revenues over the last few years, while the core marketplace's revenues has slowed down. Stuff has continued to thrive for the company, and it goes on and on and on. And it talks about uh, you know if it's gonna if it's hurting eBay's marketing place. Look. I don't know too much about StubHub. I mean, I don't know. I always, I think StubHub you could buy like, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think you could buy like uh, concert, this, uh, you know, tickets from them and some other things. I don't know. I don't really deal with that type of stuff, uh, but you could read up on it. You know, it's over here uh, where StubHub fits in, and it goes on and on and on. It reads like I said. If I was to sit here read all of this stuff to you, uh, we'll be here for over an hour. If we, I don't know how long this is going to last. I'm, I'm going to wrap this up, you know, soon enough. Uh, and that's what we got going on with that there. So you might want to read up on that there uh, if you're interested in the stuff hub uh, you know, story. Here we have over here. I think we went through this already. Uh, Hurricane Irma merchandise floods eBay. I think we went through this already. I believe we did. If we didn't, um, yeah, I think there might have been another story to this here. While Floridians, yeah, yeah. I think we went over this one already. I know. I guess I must have clicked it on twice somehow. <clears throat> Apparently, I must have hit it twice, or it's a different story time. Let's see. This one's by the Tampa Bay, or, uh, okay. Anyway, this is the Hurricane Irma merchandise floods eBay. Uh, I, it's funny, I see my town over here too. <laughs> That's kind of funny at that. Um, they have left behind entrepreneurs in Indianapolis, I like these. Yeah, uh, it's funny how they have my town in here. Uh, was, I, have a, I live in a small town, I don't know how that could, you know. It is what it is. The town that they were mentioning, 
it, uh, it didn't affect us at all. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm in Long Island, New York, and um, I don't recall any problems here. Uh, we didn't get anything like that. Rain, maybe that was it, but uh, that was it. You know, so I don't know what they're referring to that there because I, I see my town listed in there. And to be honest with you, um, I don't know who put that in there, but hey, whatever. Uh, moving right along. And we keep getting these advertisements, gotta love them. Here's eBay uh, UK deals voucher codes from Cheap Tech Essentials, top trending Christmas gifts uh, this 2017. Um, you know, you guys again can look at this here. It says over here, a little talks a little about eBay. Again, eBay has come a long way since its auction, day, uh, auction site days, and now it's going to the site for an array of bargain hunters. And it goes on and on to talk about little things of that nature, Cheap Tech Essentials, then they talk again about the iPhone 8. Uh, here it says for kids, there's a lot of great gifts and entertainment ideas such as this racing car set. Uh, this is UK stuff for $7.59. Uh, the arts and you know the arts and crafts set, $5.99. It talks about stuff over there. Um, here you can see some. It says best selling feature and the trending page. Uh, that's that. I, I'm quite sure. I think eBay has also a trending page too. You can see what's also trending to. I'm not really sure where it is on there, but you could also find that. You could probably do a Google search and type in Google, uh, eBay's what's trending, and you'll probably get all the information. Um, let's see, moving on along over here. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay. And then they talk a little about the stuff that's at Laura Ashley, they tell you 80% off, and so on and so forth. Then it says over here, Amazon takes on Amazon and John Lewis by launching a huge price match guarantee. You know, now, well, like I said, there it is, eBay. eBay's joined the big names in business. The new, the new price match guarantee will also uh, help solidify eBay's position as a retailer rather than a bidding site with 80%, 87% of eBay's goods being fixed price and 80% off uh, it being brand new. Okay, well, you know what, that's great. Uh, again, this is in the mirror. <laughs> you could read this if you like. Uh, moving right along, we're going to go to the next one here. Uh, here's a nice one here for you. <laughs> um, those Levi's you bought on eBay may, may have been stolen by a drug addict shoplifter. Isn't that something now? Now you got to worry about if you're buying clothes that's been, you know, stolen. Thank God they're not serial numbers in them. So if you bought them, you don't have to worry about them, right? Unless they have serial numbers in them. Um, not that I'm encouraging it, <laughs> but uh, it's kind of crazy, right? You know, you're stealing clothes or out of stores, department stores, and then you're selling them on eBay. What else is there, right? Uh, at every online shop, uh, as every online shopper knows, there are a lot of bargains out there <laughs> in proliferation of social media revenues. Uh, revenues. Um, what you might not know is that some of the merchandise you find on eBay, Craigslist, Facebook, Marketplace is also cheap because it's stolen from stores. <laughs> hey, you can't source, you gotta, if you gotta source one way, you can't, you know, you gotta source another way, right? So, uh, I think it's crazy. Uh, to buy, first off, to go into department stores and steal clothes, right? I don't know what they're stealing, what kind, of, they're saying Levi's, I guess, I don't know how much Levi's, I haven't bought a pair of Levi's, yeah, I'm, I'm always in, Dockers and dress pants. I don't wear that stuff. Um, why not just go to a thrift store? You go to a thrift store by me, you can get Levi's pre owned and nice condition, not ripped holes or faded or anything like that. I mean, I've seen a lot of them because why, sometimes I, I scan through them just to see what they're all about. I don't know the retail price is what they actually sell for because I never really researched Levi's, but you could probably have price. i seen pairs going in for like as Levi jeans for six bucks, but they have price you're getting for three. I mean, how much cheaper could you get? You want to take a chance of stealing, stealing clothes, going to jail, have a record for a pair of you know pants that you could have got at a thrift store for six bucks, uh, if if, we, if you didn't get it on a half price, or, and then if you did, you get it for three. Come on, is it really worth stealing clothes and selling it on eBay? And then not only that, <laughs> it's a double whammy because if you get caught selling on eBay, you know you're going to suspend your account, kick you off, and not only that, if you get caught by the law. You're going to be doing, you know, you're going to go to jail for that and have a record for something silly like that. You know what I'm saying? So why even bother? Just go to the thrift store. But people may say, well, they're going there. They're stealing. The reason why they're stealing is because they have the money. Well, you don't have the money then. That's another story. But, you know, maybe you might want to get a job or maybe you might want to put money aside or something for it. You know, maybe you could borrow money to buy a pair of pants or what? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I think it's foolish to go through this here. But... It is what it is, folks. You can't make this stuff up. And this ain't the first time you're hearing something being stolen 
being sold on eBay. Believe me, uh, there's probably tons of stories out there, and I'm not going to go into it and do the research on it, but there's probably tons of stories out there where there's so much stolen goods put on eBay, it'll make your head spin. I don't know. I didn't do the research on it, but that's the bottom line here. You know, uh, and then if you read a little more down here, um, websites have acceler accelerated increasingly sophisticated organized retail thrift, theft rings, which have, have which have long relied on shoplifters known as boosters, clearing store shelves in demand goods and then selling them, and then selling and reselling at higher levels of fences uh, who deal with truckloads of stolen property. Now the rings can be now the rings sell. Uh, shoplifted bottles of aspirin, infant formula, or jeans in the same virtual marketplaces where legitimate items are sold. Investigators are seeing more of what they can call e-fencing, where fences sell store merchandise, credit, or gift cards obtained by returning stolen goods. I don't know what to say, folks. That's, that's what's going on out there. Just be careful. Um, I'm not saying that the potential buyers can look there questioning the seller, excuse me, by the way, are these jeans stolen? <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Moving right along, <clears throat> excuse me, how curators use LinkedIn, eBay, and Moxie to get forgotten treasures into Pacific Standard Time, LA, LA, la la land, right? Um, it talks a little things, it talks a little about, you know, uh, <clears throat> How I guess the, the two will work in conjunction with one another. Uh, let's see the whole story. I didn't get a chance to read the whole story, uh, basically because I'm pulling all this information off the websites. And like I said again, I don't really have the time to sit there and read verbatim. So that's why I share the information with you guys. If you want to look this one up here, um, this one I pulled off here. It's Artnet Worldwide Corp. Uh, they're the ones that did here. Art, Art <coughs> excuse me, Artnet News. And you can read about that there. Uh, again, they'll talk about that stuff. You want to read that there, you know, and get a little more insight on it. Moving right along. Let's see here. Another one. I did another double. Wow. Oh, boy. All right. Here's one over here from e-commerce. I love this site. E-commerce by its blog. Uh, Third-party tools now blame for eBay warning emails. My Anna Steiner. She's great. I love the person. She does good stuff, good work. Um, I definitely subscribe to her. Uh, it says over here, eBay sellers have until October to get rid of contact information in their listings and now appear to be blaming links to third-party tools for triggering false warning emails to sellers. Now, I just did a, a segment, uh, just to share this with you really quick, I just did a video the other day, yesterday um, really, uh, receiving uh, action required by eBay uh, notification email, well, message. And it was stating that my stuff had um, active content, which I did 174 of them. I took all the active content out through eBay. And they had that little prompt, like I said in there, if you watch the video, you just, it says, help me remove the content, whatever. You click it on there. You acknowledge yes to help you clean it out to save it. You go back to the listing. You update it. Boom, it takes it right out, and you're done. Um, it says on oh, yeah, my, my active listings page on eBay. It says my active listings page on eBay was updated on Thursday. Anyway, on the little sidebar, you eat commerce, eat KG, you read these too. But um, that's what they're talking about. And it says over here, uh, all right, they're saying triggering false emails. I don't think that email that was sent to me was uh, a false email by a third party. I think, you know, because I looked at some of them and some do have, you know, active content in it. That's why I took it out. Uh, I haven't gotten any, you know, warning notice as far as that. They're like eBay didn't give me a, a time constraint to say, hey, you got a day, couple of days to get it out at the end of the month or whatever. But they, uh, they do want me to make those corrections on here because I don't know if they're going to block them if I don't. And that's, I think, I have 290. I think I started doing some a couple yesterday, and I think I know what it is. The the ones I did, as I said, I stated in that other video, they did have hyperlinks there, and I didn't know. I was totally unaware of it. People might say, "Sure, you don't know," and I don't. I really didn't know because if I did, knowing eBay's rules and regulations as far as like they you know, have it, you know, listing on their sites, I'm not going to do anything to jeopardize myself. So that's why I said when I got those, and you know, what it was is the little free logos, but. You know, when you're copying and paste those logos, you don't realize you're tagging along the hyperlink that's right behind it. So, and the way you find that out is, I didn't know until I looked into it myself. When you right-click it, you'll see hyperlink properties. Right there, you will see on that on the tagline there, 
the HTML tagline, whatever, you'll see that it has that person's or that company's uh, website there. Okay, and as I stated earlier, you are not, you are prohibited, and I repeat, you are prohibited to put any uh, hyperlinks on eBay's listings. It's not, it's not, it's not approved. It's not, it's not, it's, you can't do it. The only thing that you can do in regards to having something being hyperlinked off <clears throat> is when you embed uh, a YouTube listing in there, okay, and it'll say it'll take you to another page. That's when you go off the eBay site. I think, well, I don't know if it runs behind it, but when you click it on, it'll tell you it's going to take you to another site. <clears throat> so eBay's aware of that there because they're the ones that, I use this thing called a YouTube converter, and they, they're in you know, perspective, what do you call it, they're in conjunction, uh, in compliance, I should say, with eBay to allow you to do it, as far as I know. Uh, I haven't had anything, any questions. eBay never contacted me and said, hey, you got embedded, vi embedded uh, videos in there that have a hyperlink to YouTube because that's why I pulled it up and says it's uh, you, you know eBay compliant okay so uh, I use it what's called YouTube converter and that's how I embed the videos into my list eBay listings so anyway but again I did see uh, some of them did have hyperlinks on them and I it's pretty I, it's an easy fix I just got to go in there you know on remove the uh, hyperlink out re, you know update it and everything should be good I didn't know because and let me tell you something People may say, well, maybe you didn't know. No, I didn't know. Because first of all, if that was the case, why do I want to give myself all that extra work? To, to, I'll share this with you. Out of those 174 listings that I had to remove the active content out, it took me about two hours. Now, that was for 174. I can't picture what it's going to be for the 290. Okay? I already updated my template, so there's no active content in there, no hyperlinks in there whatsoever. So all the new stuff I'm listing will not have that. It won't go through that problem. But 290, that's, and it is a little work. It is involved. So that's going to take me some time. But anyway, just keep that aware, folks. That's what's going on with that there. Um, and the rest of it's over here. It says sellers, uh, sellers raised the issue during eBay's weekly chat session on September 6th. And again, on September 13th, a seller said they believe that any link triggering the warning, including URLs for eBay approved partners, whatever. And it goes on and on and on. It talks about that there. You can read that off of e-commerce bites, folks. Um, you just got to go in there and go to ecommercebytes.com, I believe, and you can get all the information. I get news alerts from them and from other sources as well. Moving right along, let's see what we got here. Oh, look at this. Now, let me, let me tell you, look, as we all know, eBay and Amazon are big, big, multi, multi-billion dollar businesses. Look at the tagline. Look at, look at the title line. Amazon comma eBay accused of tax evasion by the UK really a big companies like that they're gonna sit there and actually I'm not saying listen I'm not saying it can't happen okay I'm not saying it can't happen but why would big multi-billion dollar companies put themselves at risk for tax evasion you know to go through that there you know I mean think about that and look at it, it says over here amazon.com Inc Nasdaq AMZ uh, a, a AMZN and eBay Inc. Nasdaq eBay stand accused by British authorities of aiding and abetting tax evasion. By doing so, they supposedly cost them British taxpayers up to 1.5 pounds in the U.S. I guess it's $1.99 per year, whatever. The scheme, the scheme as British government representatives call it, is simple. Foreign sellers store their goods in the U.K. prior to the sale. Once a sale is made, the items are shipped locally because the goods do not cross any border from the point of sale at the VAT, which is value added, what is that, value added thing, whatever, uh, price, whatever it is there, the VAT of 20% uh, is very difficult to enforce companies that use this method and effectively and are effectively on the honor system and the most choose not to pay the 20% tax for obvious reasons. And then it goes on. Listen, I don't know about you guys. Uh, me personally, I would not do anything like that crazy. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna buy merchandise. I'm just saying. I don't know how that's working, but I mean, if they're saying like that's somebody like me, if the way I understand it, I could be wrong. I'm gonna buy merchandise. I'm gonna <laughs> send it over to the UK to avoid, you know, paying tax on it. That's kind of crazy. I mean, I don't know. You know, I I didn't read the whole story in depth, but um, again, you could read it, and it, I I kind of find it kind of a little amusing. Um, I, I can't see two big companies like that 
uh, getting themselves into, into a situation like that for a tax evasion. Uh, it goes on and on, and you can see it. Uh, I'm not going to read the whole story to you guys. You could look it up. This came off of um, GuruFocus.com. You could read that there as well. You know, and I think that does about for the eBay news. Um, I just wanted to say one thing, guys, in regards to doing these news uh, updates, see what are reselling news. I know a lot of people might be saying, you know, I should be more thorough maybe, or maybe if I'm going to do this here, maybe be a little more definitive with certain things. I I put these, I do these, new, these re reselling news for you guys out there who don't have the time to read it. Uh, maybe you're not aware of what's going on. Maybe you don't really care about the reselling news or what goes on. But for those of us who are serious, that take this business serious and really want to keep abreast of what's going on out there, it might be something you might want to look into. Um, it's interesting reading. I find it pretty interesting. Uh, you know, I don't know what you guys think about it, if you like the reselling news or not. I plan on keep doing more. Uh, and I'm not, let me tell you something, folks. I'm not doing this for ratings. All right. I know I said my past uh, videos that I was at 98, 99. I'll give you an example. Yesterday, I, I hit the 100 mark. Finally, I said, oh, I can't wait to hit 100. I hit the 100, and then it bumped down to 99 again. I don't know. Maybe I guess a person wants to subscribe and like the content. They, they bump me off. It's whatever. I don't really care. I'm not doing it for, you know, to get no high notoriety in there. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I wouldn't mind having thousands and thousands of subscribers. I wouldn't mind becoming, you know, one of the top YouTube guys either. I'm not saying that there, but I do this here because I figure you guys, you know, maybe you don't have the time, uh, you know, you're not aware of certain things, and it just gives you a little insight as to what's going on with eBay, uh, or Amazon, or just in general to resell the news. I find it pretty informative. Um, you know, I, I guess you can get certain uh, things out of it, you know, certain information out of it. And I think it's kind of interesting to, you know, share this type of information with you. I know there's a lot of resellers out there that, uh, you know, they talk a lot about uh, what they buy, where they get it, what they're sourcing for, what they're selling it for and paying for. You know, I don't get really into that type of stuff. I do do, like I said again, I do the sneak peek videos, demo videos and intro videos on the items I picked up. I do, like I said again, to give you guys, potential buyers, a little insight as to what I'm going to be putting up on, you know, for eBay. But um, I'm a little different in that respect. I don't like to like you know just talk about the same things over and over again. I know 99.9% of my stuff is eBay related as far as, far as demos, you know, uh, sneak peek videos and so on, uh, and intro videos. But I do it again, like I said, to help out. Um, I don't like to do too much of that there. And I like to, going forward, I would like to start shortening them up, uh, trying to go fast, but get the point across, so to speak, you know, make it cryptic. You know, take something for a half hour, maybe cut it into 15 minutes. I can't see going on and on. I look at some of my videos that are over an hour. The one I did yesterday, I think, was 53 minutes. And thanks for the people who are watching it. I don't know if they watched the whole thing through. They just watched a little. They clicked through and they bumped out of it. Maybe they seen the first five minutes. They said, I'm done with this guy. Maybe that's why I was up at 100. And then I jumped down to 99. And who knows what it's going to be now if I check it again. <laughs> <clears throat> But, you know, if there is other things that you guys want me to discuss or you want to talk about, you know, let me know. Drop a comment in there. Some people don't leave comments. Um, if, you're gonna leave, if you're going to leave any derogative comments or anything bad, you know, you know, calling people names or saying this person's stupid, this kind of thing, uh, you know, I like nice comments. If you want to leave a nice comment, that's fine. You can leave a bad comment if you like, but it will not be broadcasted out there for the whole world to see because, as you know, <clears throat> Uh, a lot of comments are held for reviews, and if they're, you know, if I see bad comments out there, you know, where it's name calling and making derogative statements or whatever, uh, I just will delete it. So for those out there who do want to leave, you know, negative comments, uh, you could if you want, but they're not. That the rest of the world's not going to see it because I'm not going to let them go out there. I'm just going to delete them as they come in. Um, however, if you want to make a constructive criticism. Uh, where you tell me you, know, you want to say something like, well, I like your videos, but I don't think this is good, I think, or I think this video stinks. Um, I could reply to you, and then again, I might just take it right off. I don't know. I haven't gotten any videos like that, and I hope I don't. I mean, I, like I said, again, I, I'm trying to do this here to share the information with you guys. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, again, I'm not like the other resellers that sit there and say, oh, well, this week, uh, yes, I went here. The other day I went here. I picked this up and that thing and this, that, and the other. I don't do things like that. Uh, I will do it when I, when, I go, when I go to the thrift store. I will tell you what I picked up. 
you know, that's where the sneak peeks come in. And I leave it at that. But I'm not going to do a daily thing like, a, like some people do daily vlogs. Okay, today I'm going over here, today I'm going over there, uh, I'm going to go take a picture, uh, you know, I'm going to go fly a kite. I'm not going to do things, I'm not going to do daily vlogs like that. I'm not saying that's bad. Um, it's entertainment. Some people do it, you know, it's, 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 for some people it's entertainment. They, they like that day. They can say, oh, I like that guy. I like, the way he, I like his videos. I like what he does with them. Uh, and they watch them. And some of these guys, I mean, I watched some of these reseller videos. And so many people have thousands and thousands of uh, video, you know, uh, subscribers. And, you know, I look at their stuff and I look at mine and I say, well, how are they a little different? Okay, they may be more entertaining than me, you know. Uh, maybe they just like the content better. Maybe they, maybe they like the guy or the person. Maybe they don't, people don't like me or whatever. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Um, that's fine. You know, uh, not everybody's going to like one another, you know, for whatever reason. I don't know why. Uh, I'm very outgoing. I get along with everybody, uh, and that's just the way I am. But, you know, there are some people out there that just don't like you as an individual, or maybe they don't like your channel, maybe they don't like the content you put out, maybe it's not entertaining. I don't know. I try to make it a little, I try to, you know, try to do a little different things. Uh, as you notice, I don't know, that backgrounds. I don't have where you see my, me sitting in the living room with pictures of my family, uh, see people walking in and out of the house or whatever. So I did a little something different. I set up in one of the spare rooms. I set up a green screen and you don't see it now because there's a background of picture in there. And I did that there because I don't think it's necessary for you to <laughs> see a person's house, their living room, couch, or what they're watching on TV. So therefore, I changed the background. And I think I said that in one of my videos that I was going to uh, do that going forward. So um, I hope you guys like the backgrounds I put in there. I try to use different scenery. Um, you know, again, I think it's a little more better than just looking at a person, you know, just sitting there. Uh, I like to get animated stuff, you know, to, you know, make it a little different, whatever. But I like doing it. You know, this is what I love to do. I love selling. I love doing videos. Um, I wanted to do this. This was one of my passions. I wanted to do for a long, long time, folks, to be honest with you. And uh, I really enjoy what I do. I really do. Uh, I've been doing it so far a little over a year now, a year and three months, whatever, four months, whatever it is here now. And uh, it's something I always want to do. And, you know, I got, like I said in my other videos, uh, I got laid off from my company in 2016. And to be honest with you, working a full-time job, coming home, I never really had the time to do what, I ha what I'm doing now. Uh, I'm almost pushing 400 videos. Um, and I would have never... Be, have been able to pursue my passion if I worked a nine to five job because by the time I got home, we ate dinner and stuff like that. It was late. A couple hours you stay up or whatever and then you're going to sleep and you didn't know what to do all over again. And then you have the weekends. What do you have? Two days off? And you know how fast two days go? I'm doing this here full time. And I'll be honest with you, I have never seen days, weeks, months fly by like it, like it has been for me for this past, this past year. I can't even believe it's been a year already. I can't believe it. That's how fast it went. But you know what? Within that period of time, I was able to get my listings up to close, well, the, well I'm under 400 listings. I'm under, I, I think when I add the other 20 some on, I'll probably be about like maybe 330, 340, whatever. But I'm just trying to say, I would've never had that, okay? Like I said again, I'm, I'm working towards my 400th video, uh, I would never know to do that. Who's going to do that? You know, uh, you know when you have when you have time. That's you know it's it's it's, it's relegated to different you know different things. Uh, you know if you're going with the wife, the kids, whatever you're going out, they want to do some your family events and stuff. Now the kids are older, so they do their own thing. You know they don't need to hang out with mom and dad. They do their own thing. They're driving now. They're going to college, right? They're local colleges. But I'm just trying to say, you know, it's different now. We're at different times. When they were younger. I couldn't do the things I wanted to do. You know, when they're babies, you know, you got to help out. It's a 50 50 uh, thing here. You know what I'm saying? You got to change the diapers, feed them, and get up in the middle of the wee hours of the morning because the babies want to eat or you got to get changed, whatever it may be. It's a whole different ball game, you know? So, but anyway, without further ado and talking about this here, uh, if you like what I do with these videos, folks, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Um, I like to do different things. Uh, you know, share. I like to share stuff with you guys. To be honest with you, and uh, I, you know, I hope you like it. I mean, I hope you like the content I put out. Um, I don't put. I don't want to put crazy stuff out. You know, I'm not going to do stupid things and just to 
to gain subscribers. Uh, I want to put stuff out that might be helpful to you guys. You know, not not well, it helps me out too because we're both learning when I'm sharing. Like I'm sharing this information with you about uh, eBay, whatever, and Amazon. You're learning. I'm learning from it too. Okay. Um, I can't get too much into reading. I can't read all these things for you. So that's why I kind of like throw it out there. Okay, I got this one from Guru Focuses. I got the other one from e-commerce bites, whatever. And that's up to you guys who want to read it. It's just a little tidbits of information. But you know, it might be that little thing that captures your attention. Say, hey, wait a minute. Let me go read that story about Amazon and eBay accused of tax evasion by the UK. Let me read about that. Let me, if I can, if, let's say you don't know the link. You could go on Google and type in there. You say, oh, that's right. That's the story the guy was talking about. And you can read up on it. You know, we, we're both learning. It's a both. It's a learning phase for both of us. You know, and I like sharing information. Anyway, have a great weekend. I got, like I said, I'm gonna probably try to do something else with that. Maybe if I could find that booklet, I want. I would like to show you the uh, the crazy things that sold on eBay, and you'll sit there and in awe of disbelief and say, I can't believe it. And and the, and the things that people bought is 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 amazing. If I could find that booklet, it's a little. Well, it's a booklet like uh, eight big, you know, it's like a little tabloid, and uh, had all the information about all the. I know you could probably go on eBay and look at, but I just wanted to show you what I, what I, how I, what I picked up throughout the years, uh, you know, reading about this stuff. Have a great day, guys. I will talk to you soon in the next video. Um, have a great day, and uh, if you got the chance, check out my listings on eBay. Uh, I go by shop R J Pacini for great deals. But actually, my eBay user ID, if you want to look me up on eBay and type in, you know, when you type in a seller, just to give you the, the, the real link to it, it's got dashes in it, so I, I apologize for that. I'll probably drop the link in there too at the bottom just in case, but if you guys want to look me up on eBay, it's shop, I plan on changing the name, by the way, you know, eventually. It's shop dash RJ Pacini dash four dash great dash deals. I know you're probably saying, what is put all the dashes? I didn't want to keep it one whole line. I should have. I think I'll have to change it eventually. I just thought it'd be easy to do it that way rather than having one big line. But I think I'm going to have to do it that way because, you know, when you're telling people, what's your, you know, what's your eBay? Because even like the resellers out there, what's your eBay ID? You know, because they, you know, we want to keep in touch with each other. And I tell them, they go, my God, they go, <laughs> what's with all the dashes? I said, I know. I go, don't, don't remind me of it, okay? Don't, don't remind me of it. <laughs> It is what it is. All right. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.